Hello, beautiful beings. Wow. My youngest daughter just called me and she was feeling some anxiety and, you know, thought she'd call me and talk about it. And she just said, I wrote it down. She just said, yeah, and the anxiety was saying, oh, that's so, so incredible because the thing about anxiety is normally it just feels like a feeling, just feels like anxiety. And at least for myself, for a very long time, I didn't associate it with a certain way of thinking, a, a habitual way of thinking <clears throat> or, a, or, or beliefs about myself and other people, they're saying. So I said, what was, what was the anxiety saying? Because it was, it was such a major moment because she was seeing that it was the thoughts. We had a talk earlier today too, and we were taught, we, we were just starting to touch on, I said, you know, anxiety, you know where anxiety comes from, right? And she was just like, well, um, I don't remember exactly what, what she said, but I said, you know, it's from what we're thinking. And it's such a habit to be in a situation and have certain thoughts just come up and just certain feelings come up that just automatically come up in certain situations. I know I just said that. That it that it's hard to notice that it's coming up because it just feels like it just feels automatic. So I saw we were on the phone, but I saw that she had a, a, a shift in perception and she indeed did notice that it was from the thoughts that she was thinking not just a free-floating whatever mysterious something that comes in and you can't do anything about. See, it's huge. So the fact that she called me, we talked through it, we were laughing by the time we got off the phone, we only talked for about five minutes. There's just absolute magic in Satsang. And I know one of my recent videos was, that was the title of it, and it's true. A five-minute conversation brought her from feeling anxiety to Back to presence, they're saying. From, from, from person to presence. That's what satsang does. And it's just a conversation that, that two friends would have, really. It, it feels, people that I've got, I've had the honor to speak with, to hold satsang with, there's just such a beautiful connection between us. Right away. So I disabled the comment section in my videos yesterday and I just, it's like a rock, it's a rock in the pond moment. It was for me, still is because, you know, what you throw the rock in the pond and then there's these ripples that, that go out and that's the, just a, a deeper level of freedom than I, than I have ever felt. This is the first video I have made, uh, having disabled the comment section and I feel like I'm speaking even more from presence, a more, even more clear open channel for the divine to pour through. I didn't realize that there were still, you know, that mind chatter about how people were perceiving me or, you know, when I would forget things or, or where I'm coming from, whatever, you know, I don't need to think about any of that. My mind, all, all that, it's very quiet now, but I noticed when I make videos, when I first started making videos, my mind got, oh, just crazy loud, and I had to really work my way through that. But now, it's quiet. You know, there, there, it's, it, it's the only way I can explain it. There are thoughts on my peripheral, <clears throat> and only on the right for some reason. So, what was I saying exactly? Right, so turning off the comment section... I was leaving it open because I, you know, I wanted to, to just leave that channel open for people to reach out if they were suffering from a, a crazy loud mind. But I've been getting comments and I can feel people's energy 
And I believe that everybody on the planet, if they practice remembering that they can, I believe that everybody can feel other people's energy and really notice it. That's, uh, it's just so, so amazing to rely on the feeling I'm getting from somebody. The, not a judgment. It's not a judgment. It's intuition. It's, it's a feeling that I get when I'm around a person. And now I trust it 100%. I trust it more than what is... So if the, what's coming out of that person's mouth is not matching the vibe I'm getting from them, well, I trust my intuition now. Every single time. I don't doubt it anymore. If I have doubted it, I used to doubt it 100%. And ouch, ouch. I mean, thank goodness, you know, it hurt. <laughs> but it seemed like the longer that I went and didn't trust my intuition in situations, it just hurt worse. So that's great, though. I mean, that is a really great motivator for change. To let go. To let go of old ways of thinking and insecurities, all that stuff. Insecurity. Insecurity, the, the feeling of insecurity and all insecure thoughts. Actually, the feeling of insecurity, they're reminding me of when I was sitting in my, my tent. I was living in a tent for a few months, uh, uh, five years ago. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Five years ago. So I noticed, I was listening to Muji, and I noticed that when I would get into person person mode, personal identity mode. Uh, you know, I would I would my attention would go to my thoughts, and I would you know think it was real, what I whatever I was thinking. All of a sudden, I realized that the only time I ever feel insecure is when I when I'm in my mind. So if I started feeling the feeling of insecurity, that was an indicator that I was following my thoughts. And so I would go back to presence, back to silence. When, when things are, think, old things are burning off, it's, it, it can feel really tricky because when old things are burning off, it's like I'm thinking them again. It's like I'm experiencing them again. I'm not sure why it has to be that way, but it's been no, no different at any time. When something is leaving my experience that I no longer need, you know, a, a, an old belief, a, well, a belief is just a thought we keep thinking. So whenever I'm shedding any of that, letting go of it, you, you know, whatever you want to call it, it feels like I'm experiencing it again. So at times I have felt like I have regressed when indeed I'm actually just letting go of what's not needed anymore. Clearing the channel to be a clear open channel for the divine to pour through. So it's it's really incredible to hear my daughter say something like that. The anxiety was saying, because it's this huge, and she was saying my anxiety this morning, and I'd never heard her say that before. She's just recently started talking about anxiety, but it's just, it, when we get older, I ask the ancients this, please don't let me forget what I was saying. I asked the ancients, why does it seem like the older we get, the worse the anxiety is? And they said it's because the longer, the, the longer that we have, you know, been unconscious, the, the more acute, the, the overthinking gets, the, we overthink more as we grow older, which makes perfect sense, but it's definitely fertile ground for waking up to, to the silence that, that we are the beautiful, blissful, quiet mind. There's no way to stop overthinking. It's only when we access that silence and Eckhart is just I've listened to and read so many, you know, a master's directions and Eckhart is, and a master is just, you know, to me, just a clear, a clear open channel, just somebody that their information, the information that, that pours through them is from the divine. It's not, it's not just from their mind. You know, it's a, it's, it's obvious that because it's soul food, it resonates they, they help me remember, and Eckhart is just the most beautiful to me at helping a person wake up and, and helping us see that even through the most desperate of times, even when things feel the absolute worst, that is just 
just on the verge of waking up. It's just that quick. And he, he points out that silence. He helps a person recognize it so, so beautifully, so simply. So I highly recommend Eckhart Tolle. So I believe that's it for now. It's really just, I mean, there are really no words to how beautiful it is to watch my daughters grow. They're incredible. They're going to help so many people. My mom, too. Love you, Mama. Love you, girls. Okay, so have an absolutely wonderful evening or morning or whatever it is where you are. And you can still reach me at SawsongWithMamaG at gmail.com. And, you know, the creepy men that were messaging me, they can also email me. But the ancients told me that creepy people, usually it's usually too much effort for them to email me. So, you know, I, I seriously, it feels like I trust my instincts more all the time. And that's my voice. You know, that's, that's the divine. Our instincts is direct guidance from the divine. It's not a still small voice anymore. It's way louder than any of those thoughts that I used to have that I used to automatically go with. <sighs> Love you so much.